Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. In March of 2021, we left on a plane from America to permanently live in Germany, a country we had never stepped foot in before. With so many cultures, religions, landscapes, and foods to discover, we had a goal to live internationally and learn more about the world, specifically Europe. Now we've lived in Germany for 10 months. It's hard to comprehend so much time has passed as we have thoroughly enjoyed our time here. In this video, we provide an insight to how our adjustments have been, what our favorite memories are, how we are learning German, and give an insider's view of what we have planned for this new year. You guys, don't you just love his hair still? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times she says that. It's been a good change. This is probably the biggest change out of everything up to this point. Yeah, Willa really only knew him with long hair. Like he started growing it long before, like months before she was born. I remember begging him when I was pregnant, like, wait till after because I want to have cute family pictures <laughs> with you with short hair. But I like him with long hair too. Tanner can pull off anything. It's just fun to have short. Anyways, welcome to our channel. Welcome to this video. It is actually really crazy. It's been 10 months. I know. We were just thinking about how fast time has been flying by for us. And even in the middle of the winter, we're just a couple months away from being here for a full year. And it's just absolutely incredible to look back at a year from now. We were at a completely different phase. We were in this like finish up house projects, get everything ready to come out here to Germany, to a place we had never been to before and to a life that we had no idea what it was going to be. And it's been great. Yeah, so jumping into this video, a recap. It's been a long time since we've done these monthly videos. In fact, the last time we did this was when we reached half a year in Germany. And since then, we have done so much. We went up to Northern Germany and really had an amazing time staying in Hamburg. We came to love that city and so much happened there. Not only did we try some of Northern Germany's most popular foods, but we had a lot of fun taste testing diverse foods that were available in the city. The biggest takeaway from that trip though is that our perspective on Germany changed, it grew. We now understand what you guys mean when you talk about how diverse Germany is. We were really happy to have that trip and can't wait to make it back up there. Next, we welcomed in fall by going to the largest pumpkin festival in the world. Quite the experience, really fun to see the different sculptures and shapes that were made. And then we made a trip down to Slovenia for me to go do my trail race. That was incredible. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen that one before. Really fun, but the most difficult race that I've ever been on. Then I accepted an invitation to go camping slash hiking with some Germans in the Eiffel region in Western Germany. So that was quite the experience. A lot learned from them, the culture, the friendship that they had. I will always remember that trip and it was a way for me to really connect and it really helped me see a different side of German culture. After that, we got the unfortunate news that a close family member had passed away, so we made the very difficult decision of going back to the States. And that trip just ended up being so unexpected. We unfortunately got sick with COVID, but very luckily we had a quick recovery. Next, we had our first experience at a concentration camp memorial in Flossenburg. That was very eye-opening, a very moving experience for us, and we're very grateful for the opportunity that we had to go and do that. And to wrap it all up for our highlights, we had an amazing Christmas season. We experienced Christmas markets, buying our own Christmas tree, St. Nicholas Day, trying some amazing foods at some of the different Christmas markets that we were able to make it to. And we were able to welcome in some amazing Christmas traditions that we will hopefully carry on with us moving forward. We have missed family for sure, mm -hmm. but it's been really nice for us to just have a couple holidays to ourselves, low stress. We're not having to split time within families. We love you guys. We really do. But it has been really nice <laughs> yeah. just being able to, to talk to anyone whenever we want, like FaceTime, Zoom, whatever it is. And just focus on Willa growing up, which man is she changing. We celebrated her second birthday and that was just so fun. She's singing happy birthday to herself. We put up streamers <laughs> and she literally runs into them. It's like, happy birthday. <laughs> it's really adorable. And I mean, she's barely starting to have like a couple of rough days where she just can't communicate. But more than anything, like she is the cutest thing alive. And Marissa sends me stuff all the time during the day. And I'm like, oh, why am I at work? You know, like literally we say this every day, like how does she keep getting cuter? Yeah. Like it's not a facade that we put on for you guys. We promise she is genuinely so adorable. If yeah. you guys saw her in real life, you'd like want to be best friends with her. But that being said, we don't want to like show, we don't want to be filming her when she's having mm -hmm. like a mental breakdown, right? Like if she's emotionally distraught, like I don't think We're that taking anyone, care of her. yeah, I don't think anyone really should be filmed at like that stage. She has them, but yeah, she, she's a toddler. But most of the time she's just like amazingly happy and it's just incredible 
bubbly little person. One aspect about living in Germany and being this far north compared to what we are used to in the US is that the days are a lot shorter in the winter. And we heard that a lot of people are like, oh, the gloomy winters in Germany, like that's enough for me not to want to live there. Uh, it's been it's been interesting because we've definitely noticed it. There is an hour less daylight here than we are used to in Utah in the winter time. So it's like eight hours of daylight here compared to like the nine in the winter. So it's pretty short days, makes it hard when I get home and it's like dark immediately. But we're starting to get lighter days now and we're really looking forward to when it gets back to, you know, early spring and then midsummer. Willa is going to be joining Akita. Happy dance. This has been in the works for a while. She's been on the wait list and she got in. So we have another video coming out about that. So stay tuned. So checking in, honestly, we're doing really good. These past few months have been slower, like we said, and they've been good for us. We're both putting a focus on our mental health, our physical health, and just our well being in general. It's been good. I miss travel. Tanner's missing travel as well. So although we've enjoyed the slow, we also can't wait to get back out there and start exploring a little bit more. All right, next language. And a lot of you are probably still disappointed that I'm not gonna be doing a lot of this in German. And mostly it's because I'm a little self-conscious about it, right? It really, I don't care about making mistakes, but for all intents and purposes, I wanna say that I have been slowly starting to get some of the sentence structure not a ton, right? But I'm slowly starting to get to that point. It's been great. Marcus has been amazing to be able to talk with me a couple times a week or every other week or whatever fits our schedule. And I, I've slowly started to learn more about like the history and culture behind certain things as well while learning this. So Duolingo is like gone. It's pretty much like non-existent at this point. One thing to mention is that when we ordered our Christmas goose, man, I felt pretty proud of myself. I thought I was able to do everything without using any English. So the conversation that I had with the lady was all in German and I felt really good. When we showed up to get the goose, everything but my last name was spelled right. So I felt pretty good about the whole experience there. And we're continuing to learn. Every time I go out, I'm trying to have new opportunities with coworkers at work. There are a couple Germans that work there with us. And so I try to just stir up conversations every now and then in German as well. Honestly, he needs to give himself more credit. He's been doing really well, and him and Willa will be speaking German in no time with her going into Kita, so it's maybe gonna be the push for me that I need to start learning. The Q woke up from her nap. Did you come to join us and tell everybody that you're going to Kita? Huh? Okay. The past few months, we've been able to do a couple food videos that have been especially exciting. The Nuremberg Bratwursts was mm -hmm. something that we want to go back and, and experience again. In fact, Marissa bought some at the grocery store that had the same logo like the Nuremberg original Bratwurst and we had some of them. They didn't turn out quite as good at home, but we had a lot of fun. So if you didn't check that video, go ahead and look at that. And then I especially love the raclette pretzel that we had in Rotenburg. Mmm, so good. And then at the Christmas markets, we had lots of experience with food and then the Kinder's Punch there. And of course, probably the most far out food experience that we had during this time was trying our first Christmas goose. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't already quite the experience for us, but fun to learn about the different cultures, a new recipe, and our first time trying goose. Today is going to be a good day. Why? Well, because we are getting our first ever office furniture. I know. It's crazy. I work from home. Tanner often works from home. We're YouTubers. We're on our computers a lot, and we don't have office furniture. That's about to change, and it's a good thing too. Light Living is an easy, affordable rental furniture company. They're gonna be bringing it to our house, and not only that, but they're gonna be setting it up, doing everything basically from start to finish. Super easy, super affordable as well, and environmentally friendly. So for every delivery that they have, they plant a tree, which that's a company that we can get on board with. Before they get here though, I'm gonna show you the room that they're gonna be putting it in. This is the workout room. It's basically empty, but we do have some workout furniture in there, and we're gonna put the furniture right here. to our adjustment to culture. It's been 10 months, like we really are getting the hang of things, but actually today I went grocery shopping and I again was just surprised at how much of a cost difference there is between some of the staple grocery items, such as eggs, milk. For example, those are like, <laughs> what is still in the spotlight? That's okay. Those are like some of the two main ones that just 
are honestly a lot more expensive here in Europe. And so I think our wallets are still getting adjusted. We know it, but it's just a small difference. And one that I don't think I pointed out, but is worth mentioning. And of course, like every single one of you, COVID restrictions, regulations, new waves have just been complicating our experience to be able to get out and interact. And like even with our neighbors and other coworkers, like we're not able to do and go out to other activities that we would really like to. So we're really hoping that things are able to go to a smooth cruise into the summer so that we can enjoy some of those things later on. Some of our favorite memories from this past few months have been especially dancing with you, little munchkin. <laughs> she has been hilarious. She will put on her dress over her pajamas, pajamas, wow. Well. Pajamas. Over her jammies, pajamas, however you say it, pajamas. And she's just like this yes! little princess. Yes! Your dress. Do you like to wear your dress? Mm. Do you like to dance? Okay, we can put it on. You want to dance after? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. She's so adorable. And so those have been some of my favorite memories from mm -hmm. this time. And I think, you know, maybe because we are spending more time inside, yes, it gives us yes, that opportunity. Yes, yes, but they're yes. memories that we absolutely love. And last night I went for a walk to go see the sunset and I was just blown away with how beautiful it is. It's just another reminder like Germany is beautiful. It's probably one of the top sunsets I've seen and it was just an everyday normal sunset here. <laughs> and then of course getting our first Christmas tree. I'll be a little early this next year. We will definitely wait a couple weeks to get it because by the time that Christmas came around it was looking a little droopy even though we had done our best to cut it at the right angles to give it enough water. So many of you who are already asking and saying that it was a little bit early, you were kind of right. We should have waited maybe another two or three weeks. And then of course we could not forget mentioning our trip to Czechia. Absolutely beautiful spur of the moment Sunday morning decision that we made and we had made a lot of fun memories on that day. We were surprised at how pretty Czechia was. Looking ahead, we have a really fun trip planned here at the end of January. We're excited to take it to the Harz Mountains and see what's offered there. We're planning on going tobogganing during the nighttime and we cannot wait to do that. And we do really hope that that is a possibility because of coronavirus. We're just really crossing our fingers that things kind of stay mellow. Other than that, we already mentioned Willa going to Kita, but that is happening very soon and we all cannot wait. <laughs> And then we also have our family coming to visit us this year. My parents have a flight booked, Tanner's parents will be soon, and even my brother and sister-in-law as well, and their little family. So we cannot wait to share what Germany has to offer because, man, we loved it and we think they will too. Will I join us say bye-bye? Say tschüss. Say thanks for being here, thanks for watching our videos. We love having you guys in our community. Are you gonna blow them a kiss? Mm. See ya.